Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Escher. The game we're playing is Toy Soldiers War Chest for the Sony PlayStation 4. Okay, Toy Soldiers, War Chest. Released for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows today on August 11th, 2015. I actually have the Hall of Fame Edition. Of course I do. Of course I have the Hall of Fame Edition. Alright, so I'm just gonna tell you guys now. Some of you may know me as Dave the Usher pretty well. Some of you may have be, you know, some of you might be stumbling on to my channel for the first time, you don't really know anything about me and whatever. Uh, I gotta tell you something, I don't really know anything about Toy Soldiers War Chest. So why did I pick this game up? I actually picked this game up because I was very intrigued by the trailer, because the trailer of this game had a couple of things in it that made me <laughs> scream like a little girl uh, in excitement. Because there were certain characters that made me just go crazy and I had to I had to check this out. I do know that this isn't the first toy soldier game ever. There have been others in the past. This is the first one I have ever played. You're, you're seeing it right there on the screen, aren't you? You're seeing it right there. There is a G.I. Joe and a He-Man deluxe pack that I believe came included in the Hall of Fame edition of the game. There's the standard regular edition, and then there is the Hall of Fame edition. You're looking at, like, the main menu right here. Typical stuff, you know, single player, multiplayer, hero select, weekly war, customize and armies, the trophies, friend feeds, leaderboards, stores and option type stuff. Uh, I think I actually set everything up already. You know, you can uh, do a lot of stuff with your controller. And, uh, you know, audio, video, set everything up, everything. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, the trailer intrigued me because I saw a couple of things that were kind of exciting. You know, we're going to be we're gonna be playing as toy soldiers. Come on. It's toy soldiers, war chest. And I'm actually, I think I'm going to check out the weekly war first. Let's see what this is about before I even head into uh, the campaign or the single player mode. So, yeah, okay. Cobra is invading your toy box. Defeat them for an awesome reward. Time remaining to complete this week's war. Four days, dude. And you can see, like, mission objectives and rewards. A box containing three Cobra toys and two random toys of any level. That just makes me so excited. I'm 32 years old. You know, I grew up watching G.I. Joe, a real American hero, Transformers, Thundercats, He-Man, you know, all that stuff. The Turtles came a little later, all that stuff. I'm I'm a kid of the 80s and 90s, guys. I I'm looking around my room. I'm not kidding you guys. I'm in the toys. I'm in the toys. I I'm looking at G.I. Joes and Transformers in my room right here, right now. Okay, so enough of talking about it. We're gonna go check this out. I kind of had a minor warm-up session. I just had to see. I didn't really do anything. I don't think I completed anything, but I just had to see the controls uh, of the game. Remember, I haven't played any of these Toy Soldier games, so this is going to be new for me, and I might not know what I'm doing. Okay, is it just me, or is the intro music right there kind of similar in an eerie way to G.I. Joe, a real American hero, the movie? Okay, waves have launched. Now, basically, in this game, what you do, a big part of it, is you have to defend the toy chest. You have to defend it from the enemy troops, from getting in there. So we have to deploy 
We have to deploy a bunch of stuff. Let's see. And it costs money. That's what I just did. I used some money. I believe this one cost 500 bucks. And we can uh, man it ourselves, as you can see right here. Where's the... Oh, okay. The little star there, that's like the... <laughs> that's the... Uh, that's their head dude. That is a Crimson Guard right there. Don't even get me started. I just defeated him. I feel like I'm far away. But I'm shooting him down. I'm shooting him down. Waves have launched. Waves are launching. You can see 2 out of 17. They're getting a little closer. Yeah, they're just the normal Cobra infantry troops right there. The guy's wearing the blue and the little black mask. You know, the typical dudes. I believe, uh... When was, when was the Cobra officer first released as a toy? I mean, this is about... This game's about toys, right? He was released in... What was it, guys? 1982? I believe 1982. Cobra officers. And there was the one with the uh, red logo on the chest. And the one with the white logo on his chest as well. And I believe the one with the... Yeah, just like in the cartoon. I was a big fan of the cartoon. Some people... You know, they dig the comics the most. Some people watch the cartoons. Some people didn't do either. They just had the toys, you know. Bunch of different type of fans. I should probably... Yeah, this is probably not the best way of attacking them from so far away. But right now, I'm just kind of talking. You know, man. You know how it is. But yeah, Crimson Guard. He was my favorite Cobra... Cobra character. Cobra Trooper. Oh man! Oh dude! What? Oh, he just shot me dead though. Uh, I don't know what really just happened right there. Let's get these things going here. I oh, I got some cash. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's get these things going. So yeah, um. We can repair our, like, sentry, our units, put sandbags there. I, yeah, I think that helps protect. You can see what it does there. Range, accuracy, hit points, damage. Um, I, I would like to go about this in a more slowly manner, but <laughs> to be honest, yeah, we can use them. I, I need to get on that right now. You know, I don't have time to really kind of talk about it. I'm, I assume I'll, some of you may be unfamiliar with this series as well, but I don't really have time to... Get into it that much. Can't I set any defense up closer to my toy box? It's pretty far away right there. Like I said, guys, I'm very unfamiliar. Very unfamiliar with this game. Some of you may know the games, this series, quite well. And, uh, hey, maybe I'll be learning. Maybe I'll be learning more and more about this. And then I'll be like, oh, why didn't I just... Why didn't I do that? Here, I need to... Hey guys, come on, you gotta attack. I need more, like, infantry troops. But I'm on... Yeah, like, I can't do any of this stuff right now. How do I... How do I, like, drop down... I don't know, uh, soldiers in the field. Attackers. Oh, here we go. Here's stuff. So just weapon-type stuff. Oh, look, I can launch the wave now, I believe. Or, well, wait 20 more seconds. So I better get on it. Um, okay. Yeah, it's all about acting fast, I believe. Uh, acting as fast as possible when you have your breaks between the waves. Uh, I'm, I, I'm running out of, uh, expert loader. Check this out. It only has so much of a range, though. It looks like it takes a little time for these soldiers to reload. Yeah, Cobra officers and the Crimson Guard so far. These guys were prominent in the first season of G.I. Joe. Uh, Crimson Guards were back in season two and the animated movie, of course, though. But yeah, the, the regular officers were replaced by season two enemies like, oh, I don't know, Strato Vipers and... 
And the uh, Cobra Stun Drivers. The Bats. Cobra Bats. Who else? I don't know. I can't think right now. Man, they are, they are up there, and I don't know how to... I wish I could get something more close to my base. This is tough. I assume... Actually, I don't even assume. I know. I know there's probably something else I should be doing to prevent those guys from... Like, I'm sure I could attack in a better way. I see batteries. I believe those are batteries. They're kind of floating around there. Obviously, I should be able to do something with that. I don't know what. The game might seem like pretty straightforward and simplistic. Yeah, Energizer batteries. Oh, look, is that's a Cobra bat. Hello there. That is that is fantastic. I really need to... Let's see. Sell. Why would I sell my Maxim? My toy box is under attack. Ugh. Yeah, the wave. It's gonna be another wave. Hmm, let's see. What else can I do right now? Right now, I am just, uh... That is the Cobra Terradrome right there. That is so fantastic. I can't even tell you guys how awesome that is. Let's see. Repair, sandbags, K-Bullets. Okay, this is what we need to do. We need to upgrade. Shrapnel shells. Shrapnel! Repair. Oh, I'm out. Yeah, I don't have a lot of, uh... Once again... Oh! Oh, no! What's going on? Those are Cobra... Cobra stuns! That's what I was... I think I was talking about them. Those are Cobra stuns right there, man. That is crazy. Cobra stuns. What was the Cobra stun driver called? The Motor Viper? I can't tell if that's even him on there. Dude, they take, they're taking a lot. This is not working out. That is, that is bad. So right now, if you look at my upper left-hand corner of the screen, you can see a number, it's going down. It's going down rapidly. This isn't looking good. Oh, <laughs> look at that, you can see, there's Cobra Commander. I believe he was released in 1982 as well. What are you shooting at, man? Problem is, I just feel like I'm too far away. Oh, here we go. Now, early on, I I released like a a trooper of my own. I dropped them down, and he was kind of taking care of business. He got killed pretty quick, but he was I, you know I was controlling him. I was moving. I was running around. But you guys saw how quickly it happened. Like all of a sudden, I, I set him down. He dropped. He was. Killed a couple people, but he got blown away quite easily. Level two. Oh, Kazer. I can't drop him. Oh no. Expert loader. Oh, dude, look at this stuff. Five hundred. They keep, they're only attacking from like one area. Yeah, and I'm, I'm unable to set anything up. Like, yeah, there's the guy I dropped down. I don't know why, but I can't, I can't do it. I think I just need to figure it out here. They didn't really give you time to... <laughs> figure out controls or anything it's just like all right man let's do it we're gonna start this thing when i was a kid i gotta tell you i was in the gi joe more than i was in the transformers and some of you who, who know me are like oh dave man you're the biggest transformers fan oh i'm totally a big transformers fan but yeah 
I was just kind of in the G.I. Joe more as a kid. I think maybe, you know, in the cartoon, the G.I. Joes were, they were humans, I'm a human, right? I don't know, maybe something about relating to them more. I think the problem I'm having in this level here is I should be able to drop... I, I need to drop troopers over there closer to the toy box. There's got to be a better strategy and a better way of attacking these dudes than I'm doing right now. I've said this before. So... Oh man, yeah, they're attacking, they're getting in there, this is bad! Come on! Close call. The enemy troops have life bars, you can see over their heads. So regardless of how well I'm doing here, not knowing everything, not figuring it out, remember I've never played this series, this game in my life! Oh, Crimson Guard! Gotcha! <laughs> but I'm holding them, I'm still just holding them. Can I survive? Can I just survive this last wave? And maybe I can do some, like, quick upgrades. Come on! I'm getting some cashola. Yeah, this is just way too far. And that's the zoom. Oh! There we go! Zoom, switch weapon, sprint. Okay, I'm sprinting. Grenades! Oh, dude! That is so cool. Right? Okay, I gotta tell you, this is cooler than anything else. This is awesome right here. This is... This is awesome. Now, I don't know why he dropped so fast. Yo, watch out, dude. Any over here? Oh, look at this. This is spectacular. Oh, you know what I just noticed? There's a time limit. Time limit on this guy. Oh, um, I'd like to play around with that more. I really would, but there's going to be another wave, dude. Okay, all right. Let's go, let's go. Sandbags. All right. Heat dispensers, what'd that say? Expert loader. Can only do like one upgrade at once, I think, and then you gotta like go back to it. Ooh, scope! This is this is getting really crazy. Where's where's my soldier dude? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, the timer probably ran out. Why can't I just drop him? Zeppelin! We got... We got a bunch of crazy stuff here. And I still... I must admit, I don't know what this Energizer battery thing's all about, you know? I, mean, I tried shooting at it. I guess you can sell... You know... Maybe I should try selling one, and then I can... I can do, like, other stuff, because I'll have more money. So sell it. You want to sell this unit? Okay. So maybe now I can... That'll enable me to do anything. You see, I just assume I'm going to lose here. This is... This is like a practice run here. Oh, that is really bad. Those are Cobra Hiss tanks. Uh, I'm I'm looking over to my left right now, and I I'm looking at a Cobra Hiss tank in my room. I have a Cobra Hiss tank. Now the Cobra Hiss tank drivers, uh, you, you know, the figure that came with them, or that you, yeah, I think I think there was a figure that came with the Cobra Hiss tank drive. Uh, I think there was a figure that came with the Cobra Hiss tank, and he was very similar to the Crimson Guard. Uh, what was his name right now? I can't recall. He was just—he was just the hiss driver guy. This is definitely an improvement, but still, this tank is taking too many bullets. Oh no! I don't even know if I'm gonna stop this one. My counter is down to ten. If this guy gets in, oh, reload, reload! Oh, Cobra! No! Oh, it's over. They're in. Cobra wins, but I'm kind of glad because Cobra's awesome. 
What are these energizer batteries? Saving. Oh, oh, oh no! <laughs> oh! Mission failed. Maybe we're supposed to fail sometimes. Because I still got EXP. I'm leveling up. I'm, get I'm getting tokens. Protect your toy box. Kill 100 infantry. Mission failed. Oh, well. That was that was pretty fun, I gotta tell ya. I feel like this is a game where you're just you're gonna get better and better at it, you know, the more you play. What do we have here? TS. Toy soldiers, huh? Let's pick one. Oh, okay, I see. New item. Got the scope. Increases range. Adds a scope to the weapon for long range shooting. Okay, very good, very good. Gas shells. Nice. Uh, rocket propulsion cool we can customize the army before we uh, replay or do anything else yeah I don't know you know come to think of it when I was in the weekly war I think I actually did the second level what I need to do is go back and replay the first level like I said I did a little bit of practice uh, before I started the game, because I, I don't know anything about this game. But, yeah, I think in the next part, let's go back. We'll start with the first level there in this little G.I. Joe Weekly campaign, which is pretty neat. Uh, it'll be a little easier, and then we can, uh, we can get into things and learn more and more about this game together. Good stuff, guys. For now, I'm going to call it a wrap right here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments. Tell me what you think. Like always, everyone, you can follow me on my social media pages, as as well as my Patreon. The links are in the video description. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Toy Soldiers War Chest. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.